Do you want to know what to take camping if this is your first time or if you're traveling with little kids? In today's video, I'm going to show you what we pack as a family of three for a camping trip. Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons and camp in Yellowstone for about four nights and then we are going to get a cabin at the Grand Tetons. What I'm going to show you today that we pack for camping is what we usually take for every camping trip. Let's go ahead and get started with like our sleeping arrangements. Here I have our sleeping pads and our Pillow. Whether we're car camping or whether we are like backpacking, we like to use these inflatable sleeping pads. And they're not like an inflatable mattress. We have found that an inflatable mattress for us is actually a lot more uncomfortable than this. And we have three of them, one for my husband, one for me, and one for my son and they are all pretty much the same size. So it's a, the, the brand is Nemo. These are a little bit pricey, but I know that you can find some really good ones on Amazon for half the price of these. And one of the things that we have found that actually works out really well is that we'll put all of the sleeping pads together and we'll just put a fitted sheet around all three of them and it they all stay together so it's like we're sleeping on one big sleeping pad and then we have these pillows that are also meant for backpacking but we like to take them for camping as well and they fold into themselves and then have to like shake them around so that they become uh, like inflated in a way, right? And then the more you shake them, the more uh, plush they become. For my son, we actually have a toddler pillow that we use. So if you don't want to carry something really big, and these are uh, probably around $30, $40, if you don't want to pay that much, on Amazon we did buy a toddler pillow for my son and they're about this size and they're pretty comfortable and you can get two for about $13 so if you want to look at that instead of taking like a really big pillow um, I would look into buying a toddler pillow and that could be more compact my husband and I have these sleeping bags they're the Nemo brand and these are rated for I think down to 18 and 20 degrees so these come in handy for colder weather for my son I got him the Kelty it's called the Kelty Wooby which is actually really nice because it's pretty small um, and what I like about this one is that it's I think rated down to 30 degrees and it has a zipper on both sides 
so that let's say if your child is already sleeping, you can unzip both, bring down like the cover and put them in and then zip them on one side, zip them, zip them up on both sides. And as far as our tent goes, I can't show you that right now because it's actually a pretty big tent. And it's a tent that we bought at Costco years ago. Oh my gosh, like maybe four or five years ago. And it was probably like 80 bucks. And it's one of those that you don't have to tear it down where you have to take out the poles and then take out, um, take off the rain cover, none of that stuff. It's one of those that you just kind of like pop up and then you have to stake down, of course. And it's been really helpful because it's a quick uh, tear down and it's a quick setup. So I can insert a picture of our setup around one of our campsites and I can show you what our tent looks like. But we're so other things that we do take for camping are of course camping chairs. We take two adult ones and a child one that we found at Big Five. And you can find them on Amazon or you can find them at REI and they're really small, they're comfortable for the kids. Also, this lantern, it emits quite a lot of light at night. I really like this because um, it's good for the camp site while you're eating if it gets dark. I really like this one. We bought this one at Costco. This is our miscellaneous box. I really like this because we can put stuff in here that you sometimes don't know where things go. And we can just put stuff in here. So in here, we carry some stuff that is actually quite essential while we are at our campsite. We always carry like extra Ziploc bags or just regular bags um, because sometimes if we don't finish like meat, raw meat, we want to put them in, in a Ziploc bag. We have a small first aid kit. We always, always, always carry extra batteries of the sizes that we need or the things that we carry with us. So for example, the lantern, we carry the big batteries, this little lantern. I really like this because we put this one inside our tent and it emits like very little light. So it's not so bright and in your face and especially at night when you're trying to put your kids to sleep, it actually works really well. It's very, very little light. We have this little lantern here. Uh, which is for my son. Sometimes he likes to play with it as like a little light wand. Um, it's pretty cool. It turns like different colors. Actually, this one's blue. Um, and then an actual um, flashlight. Or you can have both of them turned on. Got this one at Target for like five bucks. We have matches. Carry matches in case you need them for like your campfire. Talking about fire, we do have these lighters. Two of them, which is the reason why we haven't really used those matches but we carry them just in case. We have these uh, jet boil, jet power um, fuel. Another thing that has come in handy a lot are these fire starters. Trash bags, of course, we always carry trash bags. I have insect repeller. And then I also have these like white towels that I got, I think at the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store or something like that that I can use for like a quick cleanup. And then of course, I always carry a sponge and soap for our dishes. And that's pretty much everything that we carry in our miscellaneous box. If you're hiking during your camping trip, I would recommend to take some of the following things. Hiking shoes. And if you haven't noticed by now, my husband and I have almost everything the same for camping and hiking. Anyways, good hiking shoes, hiking socks, leggings, hiking pants, like workout shirts. We always carry a rain jacket. We always carry a warm jacket. 
because we don't know how the weather might turn out, especially at higher elevations. We also usually have sandals for like the camp or camping shoes. So something that you don't mind getting dirty, that is comfortable. We like using our tivas which are the sandals that we have and we like those because they're just comfortable. They're a good thing to have after a long hike. We just put them on, take off our, our hiking boots and put on our tivas. We carry our hiking packs. You see, they're the same. It's just the male and female version. Our hiking packs, we always carry that my son's hiking pack so as far as our camping kitchen goes there are a few things that we always carry we bought containers at costco we carry these because it's just been really convenient um, it makes things easier for us to pack into the car and it's these like black containers. These are the smaller ones and they come with this yellow lid. This one is completely empty right now because we use this one as our camping pantry. So when we go camping, we plan our meals throughout the week. And depending on that, of course, we end up with a few dry goods. And our pantry, that's what we use for. So like bread, tortillas, oils, seasonings, snacks, chips, um, sometimes I'll put fruit in here if it doesn't get too moist. Just anything like that. Anything that you would put into your pantry that you're taking camping, I put it in here. This thing has come in handy quite a lot. And this is a water keg. And I think this one is 8 liters. Every time we get to camp, we look for the water source. Sometimes I'll have like a water faucet or something like that. And this is what we use to, let's say, wash our hands, or if there's no area to uh, wash our dishes, we'll use this to wash our dishes. Let me show you what I carry, or what we carry in our camping kitchen. We have our camping kitchen and another one of those black bins, the smaller ones, right in here. And all our stuff is in there. Let me show you a few things that are actually really handy for us and where I've gotten them. This little thing here, it's called an AeroPress. If you don't like instant coffee, I don't think there's anything wrong with instant coffee other than it doesn't taste as good as freshly brewed coffee. But this is kind of like a French press and it's a little bit, I guess you could say a little bit more compact depending on like how many pieces it actually comes with. But it's this, I'm not sure if you'll be able to kind of see it. This has come in handy so much. It's a jet boil, which is a backpacking stove. But of course, it is very expensive. And I know that like Walmart or even Amazon have really cheap backpacking stoves. We use this um, mainly for the morning. We boil water in this and we make our coffees with this. And if let's say we don't want to pack lunch in the sense of we don't want to have to prep anything for the next day and we just want to do like cup noodles or a dehydrated meal we'll pack this in our hiking pack and we'll take water with us and we'll boil water and that'll be the, our lunch for the day measuring cups a chopping block and then this is what we use to wash our dishes it's this like collapsible container um, that i got at rei And when we're cooking, we put all of our dirty dishes in here and then it has handles that you can use to take to your dishwashing station or wash it at your campsite, depending on whether there's somewhere to wash or not. But this one, um, we bought it because sometimes like the places that we stay at don't have laundry mats or laundry places. So we wanted to use this one to wash our clothes in. So some of these things I found at Target and at Walmart some of the things that I found at Target um, are our plates and our bowls and some of our dishes. Target has this section where they have like plastic utensils and plastic bowls and cups and things like that. 
and we got these like long extended plates um, as well as these and I think each one of them were like 50 cents or 79 cents each so I think it was like less than four dollars for these four plates we got one for our son this like big bowl that we use sometimes to like let's say marinate um, chicken or meat or to make salads and it comes with a lid and it came with a smaller one inside it came with a smaller one and it comes with a lid as well we bought these little bowls also at Target these are also the same like 50 cents or 79 cents or something like that three drinking cups so one for my husband one for me and then one for my son and there are these utensils like spoons which are really big I like these really big ones knives and forks that I bought at Walmart and I think they were like two for a dollar and of course a bottle opener for beer for bottled soda I don't know for beer other things that we carry are these um, seat to summit bowls we got we have three so one for each of us pots and pans so we usually have two we haven't really needed more than two because we do a lot of like campfire meals a can opener of course spatula tongs spoons for cooking this is more for like baking but we like it for our scrambled eggs and a knife sticks for uh marsh for roasting marshmallows and of course our camping stove and fuel for the stove i think that's all that we take for our actual like camping trip i will be making other videos i maybe i want to make this into a little bit of a series i'll show you what we uh pack for camping what we pack for our road trip i will be showing you videos on our trip to the grand tetons and to yellowstone and i will be showing you some camping recipes so that if you need a little bit more ideas because i definitely do sometimes so if you want to get more ideas on recipes for that for camping then go ahead and stick around as my videos come out every week and let me know if you've ever tried camping or if it's, you see it in your future and say hello in the comments subscribe give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and family especially if they like to camp or if they want to try to camp with their kids and I will see you in the next one. Adios.